Good morning. This is Pastor Don again for the fifth of our our daily devotionals. Uh, it's been a pleasure in giving me uh, something to do. I hope it's been helpful to you folks who have seen this over the past week. Uh, please do tune in on Sunday morning, Palm Sunday. Pastor Manny will be uh, bringing and presenting and offering you the uh, his Palm Sunday slash Passion Sunday message. So please do take that in. We conclude today with talking about hold on to hope, uh, words which I think we need to hear, which we hear in the lesson from 1 Peter again, where Peter writes, Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. Stay alert, be strong in faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are, and that God will restore, support, and strengthen you and he will place you on a firm foundation. All power to him. So hold on to hope. And these words are written thousands of years ago. And these words of hope and of Christ's presence and the fact that God will never desert us, never abandon us, has been with us all that time. And the power of God has gotten us through all those years to this year. And the, the strength of them is from the moment, from the text we will hear in two weeks where the in this coming week where we talk of Jesus dying and on the cross, and it all appeared hopeless then too, but what happens three days later? But Christ rises from the dead. And countless issues in our lifetimes we have lived through uh, world wars. I still remember my father-in-law talking about landing at D-Day at Normandy Beach and how hopeless that appeared. And it, and it did end the lives of so many. But it did not end the life of my father-in-law, who uh, constantly wondered from that day forward why it was he was the one that was chosen and took that challenge, in a sense, and dedicated his life to giving his life and sharing his life with others through special education and dealing and helping people with special needs and, and helping any young person who needed an education to get it. He made that his life challenge as he worked through that and dealing with that issue his, his whole life. You look at the biblical pestilences and the plagues and all those things that the people of God came through. Uh, the bubonic plague, and the hopelessness that, that was part of that world and the, when those invisible germs were just wiping people out. We have lived through so much. We have been promised by God that he will not desert us and God has not deserted us. We give thanks for that. We pray that the, the power of God sustain, uphold, and be with us in the challenging times before us. And this day would continue, and there's really no reason to think it, it wouldn't. We pray that uh, that God would be with our health care workers as we are sensitized to them more and more of how they put their their lives on, on the line for us. We pray that you would be with those who have been give hope to those who have been affected by being laid off and by not having work. We pray, O oh Lord, that, that you be their comfort and strength. And so as, as we look at our own lives and, and how protected we are and how blessed we are to have places to retreat to, may we constantly keep in our hearts and our prayers that hope be showered upon those who are in much more challenging situations. May God bless us. May God walk with us. May God give us a spirit of hope that we might take joy in this day and may take joy in serving others. May God be with you. May God bless you. May God's hope be with you always. And also, if this gets to you before 2 o'clock, uh, you'll be able to pick up palms at the church. May those palms uh, provide comfort in, in, in us at least something we can do that we normally do during this Holy Week season. God be with you. God bless you. And God nurture you in his holy hope. Amen.